Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven. And in today's video, I would like to explain to you how you can share Word documents from SharePoint or OneDrive uh, with your colleagues in review mode. So let me explain to you what I'm talking about. So typically when you, let's say, share a Word document and you right click and click the share button and um, under the different options in terms of, um, you, know, per, you know, what a recipient will be able to do, uh, you only have two choices. It's always either can edit or can view. And essentially edit allows the recipient to make the changes. And obviously those changes will be immediately available and seen by everyone else. And can view essentially with this permission, the recipient cannot make any changes. They can just literally view and download uh, the document. Uh, however, uh, with Word documents, and this only works for Word, uh, this option is not available if you share PowerPoint, PDF, or Excel. You, we have this other option, can review. And what happens with this option, the recipient uh, will be able to access the documents and type in the changes, but these changes will be more like comments. They will be more like suggested changes. And uh, once I then go in and approve those changes and agree with all these changes, only at that point they will become official. So let me show you how that works. Uh, again, I am going to right click on this document, click share. Doesn't really matter which uh, link I choose here. Uh, let's stay with this one. And again, uh, there are three di different levels. Uh, because it's a Word document, we have this can review. So let's choose that. Click apply, and I'm going to share it with Mary. And uh, of course, I can type in uh, my email here, personal message, click send. And let's now see what will happen uh, to Mary once she opens the document. So I'm logged in as Mary here in this browser. And of course, Mary can navigate to Outlook because she will get an email. Let's go to OneDrive. And if we click on the shared, and then shared with you section, right? If we scroll down, here's the document that I just shared with Mary. So Mary uh, just clicks on the document. Now, uh, because I shared this document with Mary in uh, this review mode, you will notice here, it actually tells Mary over here uh, that the changes um, you know, will become suggested edits until the author approves, right? Uh, essentially, you see Mary is uh, trying to even, you know, just make the changes. She cannot because, again, I only shared it with her uh, with this review mode. So let me type in something here. So just like that. And maybe, you know what, I'm going to, I type something new. I'm going to delete this text. All right. And that's it. So Mary obviously made her changes. Uh, and now let's exit the document. Uh, Mary is done with her changes. And let's now see what will happen to me because I was the one who requested those changes in the first place. So uh, the document is right here. It actually shows that Mary was kind of the last one to make the changes. I'm going to open the uh, document. And essentially what I can do from here, I can review essentially the changes that Mary made. You see, it highlights it uh, you know, for me. They are not real changes until I either approve or reject. And essentially, um, that's, I have to make a decision here. Let's accept that deletion. And then again, it highlights uh, this other change for me. It says Mary added something here. Uh, we can maybe reject this one, all right? So here we go. I just uh, approved, you know, rejected a few changes. The changes have been made. Let's again uh, close the document and let's see what happened to the revision history. So right click version history and uh, look what happened. Essentially, it registered both of our revisions. All right. So Mary made her suggested changes. It created another version and I approved some of those, uh, you know, changes and it created another version again. Now, one thing uh, I really want to mention is that this only works when the recipient uh, does not have added privileges uh, to the content or to the site. Let me explain what I mean by that. If Mary was the member of the site, then the review mode will not work. Let me explain to you why. Because 
Uh, the edit mode is a higher, you know, kind of permission level than uh, review mode. And obviously, if Mary was just a regular member, she would have add, added delete capabilities. So this worked. The reason why it worked, um, just like I showed you, uh, was the fact that Mary is not part of this site. She doesn't have any permission to this file. Uh, I just pretty much created this custom link for her. Uh, again, if Mary was a regular member, then this review mode would not work. She would just be able to make the changes and edit the changes like any other member would. So that's all I really wanted to show you in this particular video. Very powerful feature. Again, we only have this feature working with uh, Word if you try to share any other type of file like PDF or uh, you know uh, Excel or um, you know uh, OneNote, uh, some other file extensions. This is not going to work. This only works with Microsoft Word, and obviously this trick also works uh, from within Microsoft Teams and OneDrive. I just happened to show it to you in the context of a SharePoint document library. All right, so that's all again I wanted to show in this particular video. Hopefully you learned something new. Uh, as always, happy to see you on my blog, sharepointmaven.com, as well as my YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Have a great rest of the day. Goodbye.